family that prays together stays together. I'm Oges Novat of the Congregation of Holy Cross. And today we are celebrating the 16th Sunday in Ordinary Time, Year A. And our readings are from the Book of Wisdom, chapter 12, verse 13, 16 to 19. And the, and the letter of, of St. Paul to the Romans, chapter 8, verse 26, 27. And our gospel is from the Gospel of Matthew, chapter 13, verse 24 to 43. Our theme is human response versus God's response towards the evil, evils of the world. Of course, in our reading today, we see how God responds to the evil. The weed that grows together with the wheat, God gives it a chance when the servant requests him, can we uproot it? But of course, God wants it to grow along with the weed, knowing that it is given the time of change, the time to reflect on its own and see how it can be transformed. Likewise, we Christians, we are invited to look at how God responds to these evils of the world. The works of evil, as we have already seen, they can grow with us, they endure with us in this world, but we are requested to be patient, to be tolerant towards each other. Of course, God at the end can judge and see what he can do with these weeds. And as we have seen in the first reading, God uses his power to save, not to punish. How many times and how do we use our power, we as Christians, when it comes to punishment and rewards? Do we use our power to punish or to reward? And the second reading tells us, in order to be like God, to respond positively towards these evils, we need the help of the Holy Spirit, which intercedes for us to the Father. And at the end, God will destroy this evil. He does not tolerate it to the end, but he gives it the chance to repent, to change its ways, as we see the mustard seed, the smallest of all, but at the end it becomes the security for the birds and become the good and massive tree. We pray that we may be people that can respond positively and tolerate each other in this sinful world. The family that prays together stays together.